Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at a big, luxury, top of the line for quality bunkhouse travel trailer. This is a 2021 Highland Ridge Open Range Model 330BHS. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every RV that we review. And again today, I am super excited to be taking a look at the biggest, most luxurious and quality travel trailer on the market today. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! What's going on with this wind? It's a little windy today, so we'll try to hurry on the outside, but this is a big travel trailer, so it still will take us a little while. But yeah, this is a big, bad travel trailer. This is great for your whole family, kids, everything. So Perfect. Hope you guys like it. Let's begin. Model is 330BHS. But the actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 39 feet 4 inches. The dry weight is 10,094 pounds. And will the tongue weight? 1,230 pounds. Listen, this is a travel trailer and it's not half ton towable, folks. You need a three quarter ton truck for this. This is really big and heavy. But again, luxury and nice. Right here we have a power tongue jack auto leveling system right under the tongue jack here very nice your uh, power your propane goes here and your batteries go here right up front we have a nice fiberglass front cap here's what that means this is an open range light and the side walls and the front walls meet here in this piece of trim this right here the side fiberglass ends here and it's a molded front cap to go over it very nice high-end feature right there we do have the uh solar on the outside no storage interesting no storage interesting yep uh place for cable on the outside and then right there's your leveling jacks with those are called lock arms and you lock them down to make them even more stable for you water heaters right here frameless windows throughout and you have a huge power awning with led lights right here's where you mount your grill right there's a propane quick connect underneath and then we do have our limper component solid step. This does have the four season package, zero degree tested. Again, this is just one of the biggest, heaviest, most expensive, best insulated travel trailers on the market today. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Rainiers, I love those. 235-80R16. And you do have Dexter axles there. Very nice. And then check this out. We have a huge outside kitchen. Look at that. A sink that's plumbed through, a suburban cooktop griddle, a little countertop extender, and a very big refrigerator right there. And then more storage. Very, very nice. I love that. Coming around the back, we have a nice chrome diamond plate rock guard bumper for your stinky slinky. Look at this. Your black tank flush, your fresh water connection, city water connection. I love how it's all enclosed. Very nice. And it is cut for a Furion backup camera. And Will, where could somebody get a Furion backup camera? Off of our link down in the description below. Matt's RV Reviews has partnered with Furion to give you the best deal on backup cameras. So if you need a Furion backup camera or side cameras or a Furion television, when you use our link down in the description below, we receive a small commission, but what do they receive, Will? An even better price. Yep, it's it's cheaper to buy through our link on Furion rather than a third-party website. So we thank everyone. We sure do. Coming around the back, 50 amp unit. There's your power cord right there. Okay, that's where you dump your black and gray tank. That sucks. And then there'll be another place under here. Right there, that one's not too bad at all black and gray tank dump station. But look at this, I mean, these are three monstrous slide outs on the side. Four huge slide outs on the side. It's amazing. Whoops, did I forget to unlock it? It's okay, there's just a, oh, you got the key? This one? It should be the green one, yeah. 
It no. will, it's the one key alike system. Yeah. So uh, there's still a little bit of storage there. And part of the good news is with the key alike lock system, uh, nobody has a master key to what you have. Well, well, the outside of this trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go, take a look. Whoops. It's the other side of that storage. Oop. You gotta move your foot for me to be able to walk up. All right, starting up front. Nice big bedroom up here. Some bathroom in the middle. And then you got your dining area and living area all in one. Kitchen right here. And oops. The bunk room back here. Will. Yeah. Are we in a travel trailer or a fifth wheel? We're in a travel trailer. I want to let people know. Will is six foot three. Look at that yeah. height clearance. It's crazy. That's amazing. We're going to start with the bunk beds last. Okay. We're starting up here. Will, look at this master bedroom. This is huge. That slide out makes all the difference it in the really world. It really does. It's amazing. You have a nice queen size bed right there. Plenty of space to walk around. I love the windows on both sides. Look at this closet right here with a laundry chute. I love that. Pretty cool. You got a place to hang your clothes, mirrors right here. And then what's that? It is washer dryer prepped. Stackable. Stackable washer dryer prep Pretty in a cool. travel trailer. Yep. I love that. Across over here is your TV bracket and everything. You have your drawers right Whoops. here. Sorry, I hit the lights. Drawers right here, very nice. Very nice and Oh, let's right, see hold, on, hold on, hold on. the light. Oh, well. Keep hitting the light. And then right here, storage under the bed. And then that's the grill that it comes with. Cool. Also notice this. This means it has the whisper quiet yep. air conditioning system. Go ahead. <laughs> you gonna me back. on the other side? Will's back <laughs> keeps hitting that light. And then notice this part, right? You have like a little hallway, but like a door for the privacy. Yeah. Very, very nice. Over here, flush floors, double slide outs in the living room area. This is called the Jade Lounge. I love this. This is a sofa that's huge, but it's also your dinette. And the reason why I love that is because we have storage above. It's because here's the deal. A lot of times big families, they're all, uh, you know, when you get a big bunkhouse right, like this, right? Nope, that fell. <laughs> but uh, when you get a big bunkhouse like this, Normally, it's going to have like a small dinette for three or four people. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the whole family can't even sit around. This, the whole family, you can fit six or seven people on this couch, right? Yep. Three, like six people. But you can also eat in here when that's bolted down better. But not only that, the reality is you're going to be eating outside at the picnic table. And you're not eating inside. That's why I love this. Because then the whole family can sit around and enjoy the inside. And I, I think that they just leave those not bolted in, honestly, because I don't see any holes. I think that way it gives you the option. No, there's holes. It was supposed to be bolted in, so. I don't see any holes, but. Oh, you're right. Man, serving reviews. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, right over here is the insignia, okay? By the way, folks, stuff like that happens on a dealership oh, yeah, lot yeah. every day. That all gets fixed before anybody buys it. Here's your sound system, TV, Greystone fireplace right there. Very, very nice. And I just, I, I, I just love that. Well, Will, it's now time for the MSRP. Damn, that's different. That was a different one. Do you know why? Because it ain't cheap. This is the most expensive travel trailer we have ever done. Is it? You think so? Oh, MSRP on this travel trailer here is $68,877 MSRP. Now, get it, that, that won't be sale price. We'll be able to get everybody in America the best sale price in that. But, Will, for MSRP, that's awfully high. Yep. But it doesn't matter what the MSRP is or what the sale price is. We will always be able to get everybody in America an even better sale price than that. Will, 
tell everybody what to do. They can call, they can text, they can email, they can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell number. Or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Send me an email. Or even better, go to the website mattsrvreviews.com. There you'll see a contact me tab with three choices. If you're ready to buy this RV or any RV, click tab number one. That takes you to General RV, and somebody from my team will get you the best price in America. If you have questions on this RV, and you want to ask me or Will, click tab number two. That sends us an email, and we'll get back to you within 24 hours. Or, if you just have a generalized fan question, perfect. Click that third tab, and we get back to you ASAP. And Will, it doesn't matter if somebody clicks tab three, two, or one, what's the one thing that every tab has in common? They're going to get the best price in America. Burr, burr, burr. Will? Let's continue the video. All right. And before we do, I would like to say, a lot of you guys might be thinking right now, well, why would somebody spend this type of money on a travel show and not get the fifth wheel? This unit is for the person who wants to have a fifth wheel, but also wants to bring a golf cart with you. Yes. Them. You know what I'm saying? And doesn't want a toy hauler. Correct. So you now have the bed of your truck and you have a travel chiller that's the same quality and the same size as a fifth wheel. Or if you have a big diesel SUV, like what, didn't Ford make one? A big diesel SUV? Yeah, like that. I don't know if one. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Like the, or that's one percent. Excursion. Yeah. That's one percent of the market, though. Yep. All right. So this kitchen is awesome. Yes. Where do you begin? I guess over here. You get a little. Well, no, this isn't really pantry space. Yeah. But we didn't show it yet. More like a little coat hanger. Um. And then over here, I, I like this cabin, these cabinets here. Um, you know, it's a nice kind of a white, off-white. Oh, and I like this microwave. Very fancy looking microwave. It is. Is it convection? Futuristic. It, it's got to be convection. It doesn't say. I would imagine it's convection, a convection microwave, though. So no backsplash here, but you do have a nice big window there on your campsite. Three burner suburban cooktop. Mm, that looks good, don't it? It does, yeah. With the blue lights Absolutely. and a decent series. sized oven. Yep. Got some drawers on both sides. That side, that side, and this side. And you have an additional drawer down here. Show that one again. What, the bottom one? No, the drawers. Yeah, very nice. Yep. Right here, you got your nice big Norco two-way fridge freezer. Works off of propane or electric. I like that. Weren't they doing a lot of residential refrigerators in I here? I think so, yeah. It's probably still an option. And then I guess this would be more of your pantry space here, mm. which is very good size. With a couple drawers down below as well. Wow. Then mm. behind us will really make this kitchen, I think, is this nice big island. A kitchen island in a yep. bunkhouse. So you got a nice faucet with a little spray thing. Single bowl sink with a little drying rack and a cutting board. Mm. Nice solid surface countertops throughout the entire kitchen. And of course, tons of storage drawers. Wow, very nice. And then some more under the sink. Yes, sir. Another drawer up here. Very nice. And, oh, oh that's an $83 trash sure can. Is. Very nice. So I think that's it. Oh, you want me to do the? Yep, it's now time for the tall here. test. So the bathroom was up here. Yep. It is a small shower for yeah. this trailer. It passes a tall test. So wow, look at that. Plenty nice of and height. tall, so. Big and tall. You know we're not big fans of the radial shower, but it definitely passes the tall test. We'll talk about that a little later, Will. All right. We got a nice vanity right here. A little bit of storage underneath right there. Then, well, it's now time for the toilet test. And I must say, uh, it a, a do. This, uh, <laughs> this certainly does get the prime pooping position. Bing! Very, very nice. very nice. Very great unit. Ouch. Okay. Finishing up with the master bedroom or a uh, bunk room. Bunk room. Well, if you want to go in there, please. Okay. Wow, look at this. Huge. This is awesome. You have a big bunk over here skinny bunk right here but it's also kind of like a futon yeah drawers underneath drawers underneath we have that hang up space there tv yep this that drops down to make a bed let me show it holds 250 pounds very nice this drops down to make a bed really nice size dinette yep and then over here 
We have this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Very awesome bunk room. Very awesome unit. Overall, a great high quality travel trailer. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give everyone three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Yes. I'm going to go first. Okay. As big as it is and as awesome as it is, it's dark in here. It is a little dark there in here. There is yeah. not a lot of windows in here. There's, and they're small. They're the windows, small windows. It does have. You know, they're, 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 it, they're, it's, just, it's just darker in here. Yep, I agree. Um, but it is what it is because you can't have everything. Right. You can't have the big windows and the big space, especially in a bunkhouse unit, you know. Right. It's just very, very dark in here. Yep. That is one. Mine's Two, outside. Yours is outside? Didn't you have one in the bathroom? Oh, yes. Thank you, Will. Two. We don't hate on radius showers. We hate radius showers, but we don't hate on them, right? Yep. Um, they're never part of the three in the three, right? But I feel like this one should be because this travel trailer is so big. Right. Like, how could you not find the room? Yep. You know what I'm saying? I 100% I agree, and especially... Because they took some of that room to put that little coat hanger thing. And I just feel like that's some, you know. You could have, they could have figured out a way. To make a this is one of the shower. biggest travel trailers on earth. You could have figured out yeah. a way to put a bigger shower. I agree. But at the same time, it doesn't matter so much. Because if you have a lot of kids, you're going to the bathhouse anyway. Yep. So, so my, that's number two so and three. Number three is going to be the outside storage. Okay. There's none on this side. You get yep. a little bit on the other side. Yep. But there's just not a lot of outside storage. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't do it right there like most travel trailers. Very unique and different. Yeah, it is. Especially since it had that laundry chute thing right, right there. Yep. Great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. And how do we not say this outside kitchen? Right. I absolutely love it. I love the sink that's plumbed through. I love the big fridge. I love the skillet top. I love the countertop. You can also hook up a grill out here. I think these features are super cool and awesome. And it's a great travel trailer. Yep. Well, shut that door for me. That could have been a dislike too. It yeah. could have. Great, so that's one thing we love about it too. All right, I will. Save the bunk room if, if you want that to be your number three. That's a little obvious, but I also like this. So wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. What's your number two? This. Yes. The J-shaped lounge. Yeah. I love this. Again, I we talked too. about it. This is a big travel trailer, so it's good for the whole yep, family. Definitely. You're not eating indoors anyway, and if and if you do, you just set up the tables. Yep. If it's raining or whatever, that's. And fine. I love that. And I love that. So that's two. And then Will is a hundred percent right. This back bunk room is gonna be number three. It's big, it's spacious. They got storage, they got a dinette that can drop down and make a bed. This can make a bed. This gives you all the sleeping space and all the storage and you want. And I'm gonna add one more thing. Though. Okay. I love the height of this. Oh yeah. How much head that's space. Awesome. Again, this Great. is this is like a, a fifth wheel. That's a travel trailer. Yep. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about this travel trailer, please. Call me, text me, send me an email. It is mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal sound number. Or the best thing to do is to go to mattsrvreviews.com and click one of the three contact me tabs. If you're in the market for a big luxury bunkhouse travel trailer, in a few seconds, you're going to see videos pop up right there of direct competition to this unit here. Will, do you have anything you want to say? Of course. All right, guys, this is a nice big travel trailer. So I know it is a little bit more niche because a lot of times people will go into a uh, fifth wheel if they're looking for something this big. But, um, you know, again, if, if you're that person that wants to throw a golf cart or something in the back of the truck, um, this could be perfect for you. So make sure to leave in the comments down below three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Will, we'll see you next time.